Hello and welcome on Thomas Geiger car. Today with a prototype of the new Mercedes C-Class. Due to the market in summer that year, the engineers are doing their final test drives. And since the vehicle is so important for the company, they allowed us to take a seat on the passenger side to show off what the competitor of BMW 3 Series and Audi A4 has to offer. So if you want to know what to expect from that vehicle, join me on my first passenger ride with the new Mercedes C-Class. For the moment only on the passenger seat, we're cruising around Stuttgart on country roads, on better roads, bigger roads, to learn how dynamic the C-Class is in the new generation. That's mainly due to the rear wheel steering. Not as big and not as fancy as in the S-Class where the wheels can tilt more than 10 degrees, but 2.5 degrees of incline is enough to make the car more agile and to make the car go around the corners even better. What else is to discover is that the car got a bit wider, especially in the interior. Outside it's only 10 centimeters, inside it's two and a half centimeters more room for shoulders and for the back. If I look really close, I can also feel a bit disappointed as a passenger because for the first time ever in a Mercedes, the whole cluster is a bit tilted towards the driver. Not as much as we know it from BMW, but it's also a tiny hint that driving pleasure is more crucial than ever for the C-Class. Talking about the powertrains, we're more on the reasonable side. A, because all the engines are electrified with an internal starter generator that adds 15 kilowatts and 200 newton meters to the party and because all the engines are only four cylinders no six cylinders anymore and i doubt that amg will dare to put an eight cylinder in the c63 in the future if we look at the engines we start with the c180 on the petrol side with 170 horsepower we have a c200 with 204 horsepower and as the strongest petrol engine, the C300 with 258 horsepower. On the diesel side, we have the C220D with roughly 200 horsepower and the C300D with 265 horsepower as the most powerful model in the lineup. The stronger ones will be available with all-wheel drive and if you like to drive a bit more electric in the C-Class, you just have to be patient and wait until autumn. Then we will have plug-in hybrids as diesel and as petrol engines with more than 100 kilometers of electrical range. One of the main objectives of the new generation Mercedes C-Class was to make the car more dynamic, more sporty, more aggressive. For that, we have the digital light as we know it from the S-Class, we have the power domes on every C-Class, as you might expect them from AMG. And we have the bold big star in the center of the grille. If you're looking for old-fashioned Mercedes status and the small star atop of the hood, you might be a bit disappointed because this signature feature is gone. At least while the car is in standstill, we're allowed to take the driver's seat to get the driver's perspective of the new C-Class. And even if there's still lots of camouflage, you can see the two highlights of the new vehicle. Heavily inspired by the Mercedes S-Class, also the C-Class now features a fully digital cockpit with a big screen over the center console and a standalone screen behind the steering wheel. For sure, the main focus was on the driver to give him more fun and more comfort but also the passengers are benefiting from the new generation. Mercedes has stretched the C-Class to 4 meters 75 centimeters and increased the wheelbase about 2.5 centimeters, something that totally comes to the back seat. So I have more leg room combined with a bit more room for my shoulders and more headroom, making the back seat more comfortable than ever before in a C-Class. Thanks for joining me on that first passenger ride with the new Mercedes C-Class. A car that definitely widened its character. Because it's not only looking more sporty than ever, it's also driving more agile than before, mainly due to the rear wheel steering. 
But Mercedes hasn't compromised on the comfort side. It is still a very cozy ride, a very quiet car, a very luxurious car as you might expect it from Mercedes. Plus, we have lots of high-tech features from the S-Class, more intelligent driver assistance, the new cockpit with the bigger screen, and the fancier MBUX system. So overall, I guess it's the best C-Class ever, and a car that will definitely shake up the competition between Audi, BMW, and Mercedes. And the sedan does not have to fight this fight alone, because at the same time with the limousine, Mercedes is also launching the station wagon. But to decide which car is best, I definitely have to wait until I drive the car. And I can tell you, I'm eager to do so very soon. So stay tuned, you'll find out more here at Thomas Geiger Car.